In this presentation on Wolfram Cloud and Mathematica, we're going to look at solving equations and substituting solutions of equations into other equations. So we either open Mathematica or go to wolframcloud.com and sign in. Then start a new notebook. Remember that in Wolfram, it works with what's called a cell, and the standard type of cell is an input cell. This is where you will type some kind of mathematical expression and hit shift enter, and then you will get it as labeled as an input, and then there might be some corresponding output. But in, we want to start off just by typing a description. So we want to go to, on the uh, menu at the top, hit on the format item, and then go over to the right and use the drop down and say that we just want to enter some text. So we're making a text formatted cell. In the text formatted cell, we just type. It's just text. It's like a comment. Wolfram defaulted back to its normal type of cell, the input cell, and then we typed the equation VF equal equal VI plus A space T. So we are entering an equation, and so the equals of the equation in Mathematica is two equals. VF, there's no space there, that corresponds to one variable, it stands for the final velocity. VI, there's no space there, so that stands for the initial velocity, it's one variable. There's a space between the A and the T, so that is two variables, A for acceleration and T for time. If you want, you can put explicitly in an asterisk to do the multiplication. You do not type the in one or the out one, but after you've typed the equation, you hit shift enter at the end of the cell and it gives you the input and the output and in the output it slightly rearranged our equation. So what we entered was vf equal equal vi plus a space t. In Mathematica in Wolfram the equals of an equation corresponds to two equal signs. The expression a space t means the variable a multiplied by the variable t. It can also be written as a asterisk t or a star t. If you didn't have the space a t, that would be some new symbol. The vf is a single variable and stands for the final velocity. vi is a single variable. It stands for the initial velocity. A is standing for the acceleration, which is constant, and T is standing for time. With Mathematica, we can solve this equation symbolically for any of the variables, including T. So we, in the next cell, we say solve, capital S, square brackets. What we want to solve is the equation, which is specified by output 1, and we want to solve it for the variable t. So we have solve, capital S, and it has an open and close square brackets. Then the first argument is what we want to solve, which is an equation, out 1, and then comma, and then what we want to solve for. We want to solve it for the variable t, and then shift enter, and we enter that, and we get the uh, output 2, which is a solution for t, in symbolic solution. Now, the input, I called it to solve out 1, and you have to make sure that when you're solving that, you know, it is also correspondingly out 1 for you. If you made some mistake along the way, or maybe you didn't close some previous book and you open it up, you might have some other number. So pay attention to what you are solving. The answer comes out with this, what seems crazy at first, uh, curly, curly. What you have to think about the, the, we're asking Mathematica to do something fairly simple here. You might ask Mathematica to solve a set of equations in multiple variables. So you might have solution for different variables. And so that's sort of one set of the curly brackets. And then you might solve the equation say like for a quadratic equation or something, and we might have multiple answers for the same variable. So we can have a solution of multiple variables and multiple solutions of the same variable, and hence the sort of two sets of curly brackets. 
So in a new cell, we're going to enter the second equation from kinematics. That equation is going to be xf equal equal xi plus vi space t plus a space t caret 2 slash 2. So we're entering an equation, and in Mathematica, the equal of the equation is two equals. The xf, there's no space there, that is one a single variable corresponding to the final position. xi, no space, that corresponds to the initial position. vi is the same as it was before, the initial velocity. There's a space between vi and t, that implies they're multiplied. If you want, you can put an asterisk in there plus a space t caret 2 divided by 2. So the, the space between the a and the t means there's a variable a that is multiplying a variable t, which is squared, and then that gets divided by 2. Hit shift enter to get the equation in out 3. So just to recap so far, we introduced the first kinematic equation, and that was out 1. And then we solve that for time, and that was out two. And then we introduced a second kinematic equation that was out three. Now what we would like to do is take our solution for time out two and substitute that expression for time into all the places that we find time in the second kinematic equation out three. And we can do that by using this slash dot notation, which means replace all. So replace all the the t's, all the all the times in the second kinematic equation out three, and substitute in the what you found for time by solving equation one. And the solution to equation one is known as out two. So we type out square bracket three slash dot out two. That means take, take, take the second kinematic equation and everywhere you find a time in that equation, substitute in the expression you found in out two. Shift enter and that gives you the result found in out four. Again, always watch your numbers. Out three for me was the second kinematic equation. Out two was the solution to the first kinematic equation solved for time. The equation in out four has some expressions in parentheses, and we can get that expanded by using the expand method. So in the next cell, type expand with a capital E square bracket, and inside those square brackets, out and four in square brackets and shift enter. And then the equation, the, the parentheses will be uh, spread out. They will be distributed. They will apply FOIL. And then like terms are uh, combined. And so the equation also gets effectively simplified. So out five is an equation for the xf, the final position, in terms of vf, the final velocity, vi, the initial velocity, a, the acceleration, and xi, the initial position. And Mathematica has been doing all this stuff uh, symbolically for us, but we can, of course, put in numbers. So that uses a single equal sign, and so I can say that the acceleration is minus 9.8 and the initial position is zero, xi equals zero. The initial velocity was 15, vi equals 15. And the final velocity is zero, vf equals zero. And then with all but xf now uh, a number, then I can ask uh, us to solve, Mathematica to solve out five for xf and now it will give us a number and this corresponds to sort of some projectile motion something is being thrown up at 15 meters per second from an initial height of zero and you're asking for its final position if the final velocity is zero this ends up to be the highest height uh, it doesn't matter we're interested in the fact that mathematica will solve these things for us if you want to save your work from Wolfram Cloud and maybe use it later in Mathematica, then you can download it. So go to the 
menu, go to the file item on the menu and choose download. This will assign the notebook some name. It'll have an extension .nb for notebook and put it in your downloads folder. Or you might just want to keep your work up in the cloud, but you might want to rename it so it has a more reasonable name so that you can find it and distinguish it from other things. So on the upper left hand side, you can rename the notebook that you're going to keep up in the cloud.